Let's kick off this lesson by going to the Word file and going down to Browse and Bridge and open up quickly right here. A quick mask. That's a photograph my wife took. She's actually not a bad photographer. But I want a vignette. I want a border around me. I never get a border around me. And I want one. Why? Because I do. But let's come over here and let's start by using, say, oh, our elliptical marquee. And let's draw an ellipse around me. Now, you want to watch one thing if you're going to feather. And that would be that you don't want to get too close to the edge down there. You need to give that some room for the effect to take place. I like that. That's a good vignette around Andy. Let's go ahead and double click on the word background and make it a layer. You don't have to name it. You can if you want. Click OK. And one more thing. I'm giving you this image as a 16-bit image. Some of the things we need to do in filters will only work in 8. So we need to do one more thing. Go to the word image and go down to mode and select 8-bit. I could have done that for you, but hey, it's fun working this stuff. What do we do next? Well, we go down here and click the button. Make the mask. Say, well, okay, that's kind of boring. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more on me, because it is all about me in the end. Controlling where it is, turn off this button right here, which actually is a lock between the two, so they move together. But if I turn that off, and then come over here and select either this, which is the image, or this, which is the mask, and I begin moving it by picking up my Move tool, I can relocate where it is, which is really nice. Talk about control. You've got all the control that you want. Next thing, well, we could Gaussian blur, but we've been doing that all day long. We can do something a little bit different. Go and make sure that you have that selected right here. So click. Come up to the word filter and go down to filter gallery. We are going to apply unique filters to that mask, and it's going to change how it looks. We're going to come over here. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the edge of our image. Make that a little bit smaller. There it is. That's what we're wanting to change. Let's make that now a little bit bigger so we can see this better. Come over into your artistic filters. Close that off if it's open. Go down to brush strokes. Go into, oh, let's try sprayed strokes. This one's pretty cool. Now you got a stroke length. And you have a spray radius. So you can be a little bit more aggressive. Let's be aggressive so you can see this. Go ahead and click OK. Totally different look to the vignette. All vignettes to me, I mean 99% of them are what? Gaussian blurred. You don't have to Gaussian blur. We could, let's do this. Let's add one more. Let's go to filter, go back again, go down to filter gallery. And again, we need to be able to see this thing. Let's make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Let's add a spatter. It's kind of an interesting one, too. Just changes it up a little bit more, a little bit different. Click OK. Now, if we want to, let's go ahead and create a new layer. Now, watch what happens. When you click this button, you make a new layer. But I want that layer to be underneath the active layer. So I can click that button and then drag it under, right? That's boring. Let's get rid of that one. How do we do it? Hold down the control key when you click the new button. And it will put it underneath the active layer. Save you one step. We could uh, put a different color in there. Again, we could try a color from the image itself. We could pick up our eyedropper tool and pick a color like maybe off my jacket. Make sure we have this layer selected and press the backspace key along with the alt key to fill it with that color. That's a little bit too much, I think. Let's go ahead and change that to white. Now I can do this by clicking that button and then click this button to reverse to put white on top and just gives you a little better way to look at it. Creating these images is cool because they're non-destructive. We haven't done anything to this image when you think about it. All we've done is change this right here. I shift click it, we're back to normal. Working with these and making special effects, borders that have nothing to do with lens vignettes obviously is kind of fun and it's actually pretty easy. Give it a try.